um, just because we went half a mile or so down through this path here, which went down and round about half a mile or so. It's literally nothing, it's, sort of, it's quite a steep gradient hill going downwards as well. There's no flat areas anywhere. Um, so we just come back to this spot to be honest. Um, like I say, normally normally hang my hammock from here across to this branch here just there on that Y and it's normally sort of back up to normally here somewhere I normally wrap it around these two the main trunk section not this little bit that comes up but the main section um, and then the tarp I normally just have as a lean-to from sort of up here a bit to this branch over here rather than where I have the hammock so it's overshooting the hammock but I'm um, just going to clear a little area ready for some um, fire preparation maybe even a little fire so that's more than big enough and um, I've collected you see some some dead wood hanging out of a few trees on the way down there and on the way back I grabbed a few bits that were definitely 100% dry as you've probably just heard as they hit the floor um, what I'm going to do is uh, get my knife out of my bag uh, I'll just show you this quickly. This is what I was on about earlier. If you look, you've got these little markers for your backpack. And it just velcros in on the back there so you can raise the shoulder straps or raise, raise them or lower them. Um, I've raised them up to one, two, three, four for the fourth notch for myself. I think there's six or seven. In total that you can raise it by. Um, I love everything about this bag. I couldn't work out what these were for when I first got it. These little rubber toggles. But I now know they're for the H2O hose to pop through. One on each strap obviously. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed with this bag. The straps extremely comfortable. The back is extremely comfortable, the waist is extremely comfortable. Um, as you can see, I've got it pretty well loaded out today. I could get more in there, um, but uh, I've bought more than what I needed to anyway, to be honest. I could do with these waist straps here, being uh, a couple of inches longer on each side, they're quite short. More for you skinnier people, but... Uh, other than that, I mean, it, it fits, they're maxed out, but they fit. But uh, to be honest, at the moment, I'm absolutely loving it. I'm loving the Sherpa XL, um, the way that it's all foamed in, all one piece, is absolutely lovely. And then obviously, if you want to adjust it for the handles, you just pull this, pull this up, and then that slips down and slips in there, and you can adjust it. The handle grip as you like and then the lucky Therm thermosol ultralight is um, just as comfortable um, at the moment I'm preferring the lucky Sherpa in my right hand and the ultralight in my left um, everyone says to me oh why didn't you get two the same for what they cost I'd rather have one of each um, and to be honest, I feel really comfortable with the way that they are at the moment. Um, even though I've got two different ones. But the Lecky Sherpa XL goes up a lot taller than the um, ultralight. So it means I can have the ultralight at the back of the tarp and the Sherpa at the front. So I can have an angled apex frame. So I can have an A-frame sort of there, high. And then the one at the back, I can have lower. I mean, you could do that anyway by adjusting them, but I just feel that I can have that a lot higher now if I want to. Whereas that only goes up to 135. That goes up to 
45 I think it is um, I'm not quite sure I can't remember but um, I've got them both adjusted to the same height even though both say different lengths because obviously this part of the pole is different size they're at different numbers on their peggings so but yeah really really liking them super lightweight super comfortable to hold and walk with really easy um, obviously they both have these twist loss twist lock systems which are absolutely brilliant love these rather than the ones you have to sort of like grab hold of and twist and twist and twist until it locks these are absolutely perfect got these uh, mud feet obviously I've got these rubbers on um, I took these ones off of the others uh, off of my cheaper versions because I don't want to damage the thing um, the ones they come with are a clear plastic uh, it's, it, these, these rubbers are really solid they fit perfectly but the ones they come with are a clear plastic with a little thing and obviously what I think they do is when you unhook them from the foot the case for it then slots up and sits in this little pouch here this little circular pocket um, so you can just have your so you can have that out but um, these lock on really well and tight so I'm quite happy with that they do me proud and if I don't want them on I just take them off and put them in my pocket without a problem um, there's actually a, a lot of um, machinery up here today. Um, what looks to be like local council authority, nature authorities, doing works <coughs> in these woods. Um, so I'm actually um, tempted whether to actually make a fire or not. Um, I think. I might just go with the Trangia and make myself a nice black coffee. Um, maybe just uh, cook my sausages over the top of it. Just flame grill styled. Cumberlands, rah. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, um, I don't know. I'll give it five minutes and see if they. Uh, move away or not because they're actually more on the golf course than they are in the woodlands I mean I'm, I'm literally right on the edge of the golf course here where I am so it's a bit it's a bit close if you if you see what I mean there's this bush line here and then just literally the other side there's maybe 50 60 yards maybe a hundred yards of long grass and then sort of like cut grass and then you've got the green the fairways and stuff but obviously the tees quite a long way sort of maybe 100 yards up there and the holes maybe two or three hundred yards down there so it's it's not the best place but I've stopped here many a time at many fires um, you'll see in a lot, a lot of my previous videos this is where I bring the kids because um, there's plenty of area down here plenty of flat ground um, I normally dig a little hole um, down here to make a little fire but sometimes I'll just do it on a on a raised raised bed and then just scatter it after pouring a couple of litres of water onto it but um, yeah it's getting quite bright now it's quite nice not so much that breeze around anymore but uh, I'm thinking this is for the winter I know this area here you can see down here is very very muddy uh, just get you a closer look you can see where the horses trample through um, don't get so many of them at the moment but um, it looks to be like someone's been riding a, a motorbike up here like a scrambler or something as well recently um, if you go back further down the way I came, uh, but not the way I came, the where I went to, to have a look to see if there was any more areas I could go to um, down there. You can actually see that there's uh, lots of scrambler tyre, knobbly tyre marks um, from a two-wheeled vehicle. So 
obviously somebody's been up here. Um, you do get the odd mountain bikers up for here, but it's mainly, mainly horses, sort of like early morning up to about lunchtime, and then it normally goes dead quiet. You might get the odd one or two dog walkers up this high, but most of them stay in the nature reserve area. You get the odd one or two that come up a bit further, but not many. All right, let me have a, a little sort out in my bag, and I'll bring you yeah, back a bit. There's a good hundred or so of them here. Um, literally just sort of like around here, um, coming over from this tree to this tree where I normally sit. And to be honest, I've never actually seen them here before. Um, although I've only used this during the summer months. Um, and obviously we're coming into fall or winter, or whatever you want to call it now. Um, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to uh, sort myself out for a minute and decide what I'm going to do. As you can see, I've um, decided to go with a really small little teepee fire. I've got the uh, kettle on there brewing for a nice fresh coffee. It's got a few little sticks there. Obviously, I've still got that pile there. But um, hopefully I won't have to use any of that. Mm, got a little break on in there. Got an acorn and a pine cone in there. So, just get this going, let it brew down a bit. Put some skewers with me. What I'm going to do is just skewer my sausages straight over the top. Shouldn't let that. Die down a little bit first. Got me a I love camping cup. <laughs> so yeah, it's putting up quite a bit of heat considering how small that is. And it's probably only fist and a half size, but uh, burning quite well, as you can see. Not that much smoke, there is a little bit of smoke coming, but not much at all. It's probably just from the damp, slightly damp bits that I put in there. Um, but yeah, going okay. Obviously, changes. I don't know if you can see that, but you can. on the go along. So, yeah, just gonna let that uh, burn down a little bit while I sort myself out. Right. There we have it. Sausages are skewered, sitting right next to the fire, might be a bit too close to be honest, but I want them flame grilled. Skewers could probably do it being a, a little bit longer. But I'm sure they'll do. Coffee shouldn't be too far off being done, it seems to be steaming it lovely. Yeah. Time to have a roll of quick fag ready to have with my coffee while I wait for my sausages, I think. Don't know how much I haven't used any. So, I'm just gonna dibble on a check actually while I was here. To see if my cup no, it drops down inside. So no, that wouldn't work. I didn't know whether this cup would actually sit on the top of that or not. Now I know it won't. So, but yeah, food on the go. I didn't realise before, but this cheap little windshield I've got, it's got this thing on the side here. It normally sits there, and you just put it. I didn't realise if you carry on pushing it, it spikes it into the ground. Which I didn't know. So that's broom. Oh. So yeah, as you guys can see, uh, sausages over the open fire, coffee in the cup ready, K 
like it. I was just a bit bored on the train shaft for that. So it's uh, looking good. Put the little windshield up. Well, my coffee's done. Um, just boiling up some more water there in the kettle for my noodles. Obviously, coffee's done. Still cooking my sausages, which are starting to dry out and crisp up quite nicely now. Um, and just for a bit of fun, a bit of dug outside. Why not? Can't beat the Canadians. Back in the nature reserve. Sort of booked it a bit really to get back here this quick. Um, so yeah, booked it a little bit to get it back here this quick. So, try and get back in time so I can have a little more while the missus goes and picks up the other boys. But yeah, it's uh, still quite warm. Still, as you can see, quite gusty and windy up there. But down in amongst sexual woodland on the floor, there's no real breeze at all. Uh, piece of actually there's no dog walkers here or anything at the moment which I'm surprised at this path is quite prolific with dog walkers normally I've got about a mile to the car so I'm going to carry on get back there right, guys it's me back at the car um, if you hung around for the whole video thanks a lot um hopefully you've liked it um hopefully you've subscribed if you haven't already um yeah i really enjoyed today first time back out in ages um i feel like it's done me the world of good i might um depending on what's happening tomorrow i might go out again tomorrow um maybe maybe back here maybe somewhere else um, but we'll see how it goes. Um, if I do, I'm sure I'll video it all again. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging around and watching. Um, thanks for the likes if you've liked it as well. It's much appreciated. And I'll catch you on the next time out. By the way, guys, um, if anyone fancies challenging me to um, cooking a particular food while I'm out, um, doing a certain amount of steps or certain amount of miles walking um please just set me up with a challenge um something building a shelter um whatever um lighting a fire in the rain um we're due for some rain soon i'm sure um whatever you can think of just um drop it in the comments and uh we'll see what we can come up with cheers